Or at 125 pounds, <laughs> Mr. Mitch Jones. <laughs> One hundred and twenty-five pounds when you weigh my dick. <laughs> I just came up with that on the spot. I was over there. Was awesome. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> good, good. I'm doing shitty. It's fucking snowing out there. What the fuck? Like it, yesterday was all nice. I fucking went outside in a thong. And I, I didn't even own a thong. I was just like, this is thong weather. I'm going to Walmart. <laughs> Just outside, just bah, yeah. I go outside in my thong today, and it's fucking snowing. The doorknob was locked. <laughs> I had to take out my thong and like punch through my window with it. It was fucked up. <laughs> What's up with that? Like, why does Colorado just feel like it's just, you know, hot, cold? Like, if Colorado was a person, it'd be a 16 year old girl. I said, not the weather I want. I want the snow. It's like April. What's up with that? I can't even read my own shitty handwriting. So I, uh, I drive a really shitty car. Yeah. Woo. That guy sucks. Yeah. Thanks. I drive a 1984 Bronco, and uh, it's one of the shittiest cars I've ever made because it's fucking. It's so boxy. It's like when they were, they were like they were making the blueprints for it back in the 80s. They're like, what's the most aerodynamic shape we have available to the day? And the other scientist was like, I don't know, fucking rectangles. Let's go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just push all the air out of the way. It'll be good. <laughs> It'll get like two miles to the gallon. It'll be fucking awesome. <laughs> Oh, I do get like two miles in the gallon. That fucking sucks. I wish life was like a video game and I could just fucking like, there'd be like boxes of gas on the side of the road and I'd just be like, ah, got more gas. <laughs> or like if my tire popped, I could do like run over the box of wrenches and all of a sudden my tire was fixed. Fuck yeah, where's that technology? Get out of here with the stem cells. I think the worst part about my car is that it tops out at 85 miles per hour. And you know why that sucks, don't you? That means that even if I went through all the like painstaking mathematics and everything and like scientific know-how and built the flux capacitor that Doc Brown still couldn't send me back to the future, like I'd be in the mall parking lot like doo, 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 doo. it's a good song. <laughs> and then like I'd be like, man, and man, 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 man. <laughs> just crash into the mall and fucking die. <laughs> And Doc Brown will come on and I'm going, what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! <laughs> <laughs> I actually broke down the other day. Yesterday it was. Thank God it was yesterday. I wasn't broken down in the snow. And that's the worst. Like, I hate when people see you broke down and they fucking, they ask you the dumbest questions. Like, I was pushing my car just like a fucking asshole. Just like, oh God, why me, why me? And this guy stopped and goes, are you out of gas? <laughs> I was like, yes, asshole. I'm the only person ever that thought it would be a good idea to push my car to the gas station. <laughs> it's, really, <laughs> it's really funny because like, when you're driving along and you just see someone standing miserable on the side of the road, you're just like, should I help him? And you just, fuck that guy. <laughs> Splash him with mud or whatever the fuck is on And you know that's bad because that's karma. Because for every 50 times you do that and you see a person on the side of the road, you're going to beat a person on the side of the road at least once. And that sucks because when you're standing on the side of the road and people are just driving by you, splashing you with mud or whatever, you're just like, please, somebody help me! I'm a human being! I'm a human being and I'm an American! I'm a human being American and no one's helping me! <laughs> And like, like, you know, people are trying to rationalize it. They're like, they're not going to pick up that guy. He's a rapist. <laughs> I'm just like, I'll suck 20 dicks if you just have some jumper cables. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was April Fool's Day a couple of days ago. Did anyone get into that? No? Yeah, good. It means you guys are not douchebags. <laughs> like, I was reading on the internet an article about the companies that put up, like, the, the best... The top 10 best 
April Fool's joke that a company has played on its consumers. And one of them was the company VW. And they had this their thing that was like, it's a magnet you can put on your car. And so when you're driving, you can turn on your magnet and it sucks your car to the other car and you can just put your car in neutral. And they have like thousands of orders for these things. <laughs> and I'm, I'm pissed off. And I'm not pissed off because I'm just like, oh, what a bunch of dumb people. I'm like, what a bunch of shitty people. Someone was just like, you mean I can buy something that will totally fuck over everyone that's not me? That's awesome. Road rage will triple. Fucking some guys just having a bad day at work and just fucking, the street people making it out of my car! <laughs> just trying to lose them on a wild turn. Like, <laughs> Take out his as he just... <laughs> I almost got in trouble the other day for texting while driving. That's really fun. Like, that's illegal, you know that? You can get pulled over and fined $150 for text messaging while driving. But I think it's really fucked up that at the exact same time, a cop's allowed to use a fully functioning laptop computer in his car. <laughs> like, I was, I was driving next to a cop, and he was just like... Tuk, 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 and then he like remembered he was driving. He was like, "Oh yeah, the car." <laughs> and then he went back to like, like bidding on Star Wars memorabilia on eBay or whatever. <laughs> it's fucked up because text messaging is actually there's a statistics now that um, it's actually 23.5 percent more dangerous than driving while getting a blowjob from alcohol. <laughs> Fuck you guys! I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Because alcohol can't give you a blowjob. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean. So, uh, what's that say? <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably all thinking, you'd be like, hey, isn't that man, that beautiful man on stage, isn't that the guy that's fucking Rebecca Romaine? And I'm here to put the uh, rumors to rest. I actually am fucking Rebecca Romaine in this book I'm writing. <laughs> with a foreword by John Stamos. Wouldn't that be great if we were just both like double teaming in and just fucking singing a Full House song like, whatever happened to predictability? <laughs> and right before I came, I was just like, ah, everywhere you are. <laughs> oh, man. My dick's like Chef Boyardee. It looks okay. You'll eat it in a pinch. It'll, it'll, take, it'll, it'll taste good when it's in your mouth, but you'll be spending some time with the toilet afterwards. I even named my dick Nacho Cheese Twisteroni. It was fucking great. <laughs> oh, but I am single, so I don't actually fucking show my dick to anyone, so. I, uh, I got fired from my last relationship. It's fucked up. Got my pink slip. In other words, my pink slipped away. <laughs> it was fucked up. She like called me into her office. I had to like turn in my badge and gun. She was like, "You're out of line, Jones. I'm sick of your renegade ways. Give me fucking put me on pension or whatever." I don't know. <laughs> but it's okay though, because I signed up for unemployment, and now I just get a free stipend of pussy from the government at the end of every month. <laughs> Wow, really hit or miss. <laughs> it's fucked out though, because like, I'm still really good friends with my ex-girlfriend, and that just sucks, because it's like, we are like, oh yeah, let's go have dinner and fucking uh, watch movies and stuff, but let's not have sex, because that sucks. Like, uh, <laughs> I much, it means, okay, like, I would much rather be the shitty person that she didn't want to hang out with, but she's like, oh, he can sling a good dick. Than the person that she always wants to hang out with and just fucking, I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch that. I will not put his dirty dick in my mouth ever again. <laughs> okay, so is anyone drinking? Have a little drinkies at Scott Shadows? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, thank you for saving me from bombing. I said drinkies and everyone was just like, oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> Everyone's drinking and everyone knows that there's rules to drinking. Like, you gotta know that there's liquor before beer. Thank you, selective audience members who participate. And beer before liquor. 
That's right. You guys paid attention in school. That's good. <laughs> But uh, that's way too broad. That's way too broad. That's like saying fucking, you know, that's just fucking way too broad. Like, I made it a little more concise just because it's easier. And it goes a little something like this. It goes, tequila before whiskey. And you were getting a little frisky. But tequila before, oh wait, I said that already. <laughs> whiskey before tequila, gonorrhea. <laughs> That's not even really a fucking joke. That's a public service announcement right there. Oh, you know. Hi, everyone. My name is Rich Jones. You guys have been great.